Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a blue freestyle set. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The tips that I have on are from Acrylic Creamery. There are the 3XL no curve square tips, but those who've been here know that by now. I use them like every single set. <laughs> if you guys are interested in these tips, you can find them or you can find the link to Acrylic Creamery's shop in the description below. All right, so we're gonna be going in with Me Secret Nude on majority of the nails or all of them actually or Mia Secrets cover pink is the proper name for it you guys can find it on Amazon you can also find it in my Amazon storefront which is always linked in the description below as well also sorry that I'm out of frame here a little bit um I didn't notice until I looked up at the camera and I'm gonna notice that here in like a few moments also, I asked you guys on a community tab post yesterday to leave me some Q&A questions on that post so that I can answer them in the upcoming videos. And I'm going to be answering like two of those in this video. I think I'm going to spread them out between a few videos because some of them are like, I can like go on and on all day about it. And I do want to get to them all. So um, I'm going to be answering a couple in this video. Also, if you didn't get to leave a Q&A question, you can leave it below and hashtag Q&A so that I know you want me to answer that in an upcoming video. Or you could go to that community tab post and leave your question there as well, whatever is convenient for you. Also, for those of you who don't know, I am using No House to Desire 16 Kalinsky brush. I use that for the most part in like every single video and you guys can find the link to No House's shop in the description below. Um, and you guys can use my code Portia at checkout for a percent off. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first question for the Q&A. Um, I'm not sure if you guys want me to say your names. Let me know that, let me know that in the comment section below if you guys want me to say your names. Um, because I will if you want. So the first question or questions is a few in one. Is how long have you been doing nails? How did you start out? Were you self-taught? And are you a certified technician? So how long have i been doing nails is always like a little tricky question for me um because i always go with how many like years i've been like consistent with doing it and like my youtube and everything well not really my youtube but like consistent with doing like actually doing it instead of like you know just doing it here and there um so basically basically i got into like like my high school year which was like 2000 like my last year of high school which was like 2018 i was getting into or maybe not even the last year it was like my high school year i used to do like little press-ons but like gel press-ons and um i wasn't i didn't do like acrylic nails until i graduated like i always did like the little press-ons and painted them and designed them like little rhinestones and everything like that but after i graduated i got into doing acrylic nails like i practiced um, I, I really didn't even get into doing it. I just tried it out one day and it came out like horrific. Um, I did show, I did show that set on one of these videos before. Um, yeah, I was just curious to try it. Like I've always loved nails, but I'm like, instead of doing the press ones, I'm like, let me try to do acrylic one day. I mean this time. So I think I went to like, uh, I think I, I don't know sure if I ordered it on Amazon or or if I went to like CVS or something and got like the Kiss Acrylic Kit. I think we've all started with that. Like, yeah, I think we've all started with the Kiss Acrylic Kit. And I tried that and my nails came out terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I started with that. And then not even really started with that. I think I used that one time and never used it again. And I went on Amazon. I bought the Me Secret Clear Acrylic and like some nail tips and all of those little like basic things. And I did me a set. And then after that, I probably didn't do a set for like months at a time. I just wanted to try it out. 
and then I'm like let me try it out again and so I probably try to like sporadically like over like a year or something like that maybe a couple of times to see how I liked it and then I think I I wouldn't say I officially started doing like nails nails until like you know like and not even other people's because the answer to that question is well not really the answer but I don't do other people's nails I never really did I think I took maybe like three clients three paying clients like once a long time ago like maybe last year or something like that to make a long story short before I start confusing myself um I started like I guess practicing nails sporadically like I did like maybe two or three sets on myself the year of 2018 something like that you know what actually since you know just in case I'm not remembering correctly I'm gonna go ahead or I did go ahead and pull up like some photos and videos for you guys with the like dates on them to show you guys like my little journey or whatever like yeah okay this was my first ever acrylic stat back in January of 2017 horrific I know I think I did this with like a kiss acrylic stat I think that's my first set well I know that's my first set ever horrific I know and then I didn't do another set until like three weeks later which is this set right here again horrific but we all gotta start somewhere right then i didn't do my next one until september 30th of 2018 so that was like a year and a half later um and then you guys can see the dates as we go along like you can see like in those first photos that was like me just trying it out and then i didn't do it again until like almost two years later and these are just some photos and videos along the way you can see my desk in the background it looks terrible like yeah we all gotta start somewhere i had like matte polish all over that desk and like a whole lot of stuff this is a set right here i did on my sister like the first set i ever done on somebody else that was horrific then here are some other nails i did i thought was real cute louis vuitton with the bling i thought those was real cute then i thought these gucci nails was like it like i really thought those was it looking back at them i hate them i hate curves nails i just don't like them um yeah so as you can see this is around 2019 of july as you can see i did it like sporadically like i wasn't like really into it but then this is when i really started getting into like practicing a little bit more and then as i went along um I just kept practicing more and more and being more and more consistent. This is my birthday nails on September 1st of 2019 or 2020, my bad. Um, or 2019, yeah, that was correct. And then here, here are just some more photos. Like you guys can see, I was practicing on my practice hand. At a point, I had like the little plastic one off of Amazon. I eventually switched to um, um, the red iguana hand. And yeah, these are just like, you know, some old photos and videos showing you guys my journey along the way. I thought I was really doing something, but I mean, like, you know, I got better over time, just like we all do. We get better with time and repetition. And like I said, as you guys can see with the dates, I was doing it like, so my first ever acrylic set was 2017. That was my first ever and I didn't do another one until like almost two years later like I wasn't really into it when trying to like practice it or anything like that I just wanted to try it out but then I started you know like practicing over time around like 2020 started being consistent with it um and then this right here the white set was the first that I was ever really proud of like really proud of like the shape and everything um because those old other shapes was like not it but that one looking back was like you know we get better with time then this is the set i did on my sister um this was my birthday set in 2020 my birthday september 1st obviously you can see the date and then like i said i used to practice on this red iguana hand these are just some random sets that i used to do on those i thought those were cute they are kind of still cute <laughs> That was in 2020 still. And then I did this Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion set. Y'all remember that WAP song? Yeah, that was my song when that first came out in 2020, y'all. <laughs> and then this was my first set I ever did on a paying client. Then here's another one. Um, Shout out to Angie and Destiny. And then this is another one I did on a client. Like, these were super crazy long. Like, and it took me forever to do those plain nails. But I was a beginner still and it was crazy. Then here's another set I did on a client or a paying customer. Shout out to Unique. I know y'all don't watch my videos but hey y'all if i'm watching hey shout out to y'all who allowed me to do all little sets and then here's some more like random nails i did on my red iguana hand and these are in order y'all from the dates as y'all can see the dates at the bottom of the screen they're all in order so as you can see i progressed over time this right here is um late 2020 in november and this was um 2021 another set that i did as you can see like i said i progressed over time and yeah the rest is kind of history you guys have seen these sets these 
this set right here and the last few sets on youtube already so yeah so when people ask me how long i've been doing nails i always say well now like as of this date i say like over two years almost three years because that is how long i've taken it serious and i have been consistent with it but the very first time i tried acrylic was back in 2017 and then i didn't try it again until like almost two years later and then i did it sporadically up until like 2020 and i started being consistent so yeah you guys can do it whatever you want with that information so like almost a year something like that okay okay that was kind of long-winded but um yeah i hope that answered that question um how did i start out that was pretty much like i said my first set i did with a kiss acrylic set or kits and then i ordered some music great clear and like the basics i didn't go crazy in the beginning i actually started making my own beginner not own beginner my own acrylic powders in the beginning like with um the, like little pigments and clear acrylic and white acrylic um because i wasn't gonna do all of that like and that's another thing i recommend for beginners like when you're starting out trying to acrylic do not go buying like everything trying to like build up your collection because in the beginning you're just trying to learn how to get your application down and your shaping down all of that so you just need the basics like the tips the clear acrylic the glue the file and that's pretty much it like you know and the brush and the monomer like that's all you really need and i started out with me a secret i used me a secret for a very long time even i still use some me a secret products like um like this cover pink powder right here in this video that i'm using um and then i used me a secret's monomer for a long time up until like maybe sometime this year honestly no like sometime last year like yeah sometime last year i switched to jc beauty concepts but now i'm on nail houses monomer and i will never like switch to anything else i love it also love acrylic creamery's monomer but currently i use nail houses monomer um and yeah that's pretty much how i started i just started out practicing on my mannequin hand on myself and yeah i just went from there like you guys saw all of the photos of me practicing and all of that so yeah and i started out in literally my bedroom and i still film and do nail well you know my own nails and all of that in my bedroom still my bedroom is pretty kind of big and i just use a section of my bedroom for my nail stuff like i'm it's not fancy i don't have a separate nail room or anything like that you don't need much to get started i just recommend that you get started if you really want to do it all right and then the last part of this question was i'm sorry y'all it was three parts to this question i know it's kind of long-winded but the last part of this question was am i a certified nail technician and no i am not a certified nail technician i never went to school i am a thousand percent self-taught um through trial and error and i only do nails on myself and for fun and for you guys also, like I said, I don't know if you guys want me to say your names. Let me know in the comment section below. But just because she's like a loyal subscriber, um, thanks, Amanda, for that question. And I hope that answered, you know, any questions you may have had or any of you guys regarding like how long I've been doing nails and like how I started and all of that. Um, yeah. And like I said, if you didn't get a chance to leave a question, like if you have any questions for a Q&A video, leave them either below or you can go to my community tab and leave it under that post or i ask you guys to ask me some q a questions all right i talked enough during the first part of this video it's making my head hurt listening to how much i'm talking right now but <laughs> i wanted to answer that question thoroughly and i know because some of you may be new or just made me wondering about that as well as um let you guys see that i'm not perfect and that we all have to start somewhere and that if i could you know if i did nails like that <laughs> and got to where i am that you can too with a little bit of dedication consistency and discipline but i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and finish watching this application and we're gonna move on
all right y'all this is how the application is looking very smooth and everything and i'm actually not even going to file the nails i'm going to just hop straight into the design so i'm going to be using madame glam's perfect blue um and we're going to be doing like some french tip designs and outlines and all of that it's like y'all i'm just playing i probably like girl I'm just playing. I wish it was that easy and I can go straight into the design without filing the nails. But we're going to file these nails, y'all. They ain't that perfect. I wish I could do application that perfect to where I can't. I don't have to file the nails. But got to buff them or something. Just something. But I'm going to go ahead and file the nails. Starting with the surface of the nails. And then I like to file underneath them. And then I like to file the sides. Then the tips and cuticle. Still in the cuticle following. So, yeah. And if you guys want a full in-depth shaping tutorial, you guys can check that video out on my channel. I will link it in the description below um, for you guys. As well as, I think that was one of the questions too. Like one of the, no, I had created another post on my community tab asking you guys what videos you wanted to see. And somebody said, either it was that, like somebody said either a in-depth shaping tutorial and or in-depth shape or application tutorial and i have both of those on my channel already so i have to go back and respond and respond to those people i have to respond to a few people because a few of y'all said videos that i already have on my channel y'all i'm like almost like i don't know maybe like 130 videos in something like that i don't know how many it's at now um yeah i have a ton of videos on my channel y'all so if you like you know want a video like i'm sure i probably made it already and yeah you just have to scroll a little bit as well as i have a few playlists on my channel like beginners and hauls like in different categories so you guys can find them a little bit easier because there are a lot of videos but it isn't that many like i can take a few quick scrolls and get to the bottom of my videos like if i did it real quick it ain't that many videos y'all i just have to scroll back a few to like find what videos you're looking for All right, y'all. So like I said, as I go along, I'm going to be selling the cuticles on the nails. And I am using this 5-in-1 carbide drill bit that I got from Amazon. It's in the color or in the grit extra fine. All right, y'all, so I did kind of skip ahead um, a little bit past the filing part. If you guys want to see a full in-depth shaping tutorial, like I said, again, you guys can go check it out on my channel. So this is how the nails are looking, shaped and filed um, and buffed as well. And now we're going to move on to the design. All right, y'all. So like I said, I'm going to be using Perfect Blue from Madame Glam. This blue is so pretty. It's like the perfect royal blue color. And my favorite color is a blue. So I absolutely love it. I'm going to be doing some Frenches and some outlines. And I'm going to start first on the middle finger with a um, basic French.
Y'all, I need to learn to stop being so heavy-handed when I'm still in my cuticle. Sometimes I be filing that um, acrylic at the cuticle right off there, like small little pieces. All right, so I just cured that nail for 60 seconds and that is how it's looking. Next, I'm gonna go in on the ring fingernail and I'm gonna create an outline. By the way, I feel like I said this in like every single video, but the liner brush that I'm using is from Amazon. It comes in a set of nine and you guys can find them in my Amazon storefront. And my Amazon storefront is always linked in the description below. This line work is so satisfying to watch. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna answer like another question or two before the video is over. I'm gonna answer this one because it's kind of um, one I've already answered. Sort of, it's, few, it's a few in one, but. The question is, are you licensed? If yes, how was the nail school experience? If no, do you plan on getting licensed? What's your all time fave nude acrylic for French tip looks? So I already answered that no, I'm not licensed. Um, do I plan on getting licensed? I always planned on it, but you know it's like day by day like i always planned on it and i always planned on like in the future doing other people's nails but i always wonder now day by day like if i'd ever do people's nails because like well for so, for so many different reasons but i feel like it's not necessary if i'm not going to be doing people's nails like you know everything that i've learned so far over the years i've been i've learned like self-taught like by myself and yeah i always wonder if i'm going to be doing people's nails if i do do people's nails I do or I will get licensed but if I decide not to ever do people's nails then I won't I honestly feel like licenses are overrated like eh, that's just my opinion don't kill the messenger I feel like yeah they're overrated like a lot of people say they learn a lot more like outside of school that they only teach sanitation and yeah I've never like stepped foot in a school and yeah i'm just fine without it <laughs> like if i'm not doing other people's nails then i'm not really worried about it i mean i would like not mind going for the experience but i feel like if i ever went to a school like with me like having my own ways already and all of that it would be like difficult for me to like like 
be forced to learn a different way if that makes sense i don't know i feel like it's overrated anyways the next question was or the other question was what was my or the second part to the question was what is my favorite nude and it's this one here me and secrets cover pink i use it in like every single set i love it anyways y'all as you can see i went ahead and made the pinky like half blue because i'm gonna be doing like a little half croc action on that one and right now i am going over the nails that i want matte so that i can do the 3d croc on top because you always want to make the new matte before you go in and do the croc design because you'll have to put if if not you'll have to put the top coat over the croc design and that defeats the whole purpose of it being like 3d because it won't look right so yeah, I'm just going in with top coat on the nails that I'm no longer painting on and the ones that I want to be matte. All right, so this is how the nails are looking with them cured for 60 seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in on the pinky nail and create that little half crack look that I'm trying to go for. And I am aware that the paints didn't quite come off as much on the top of the pinky nail on that side as like the rest of the nails because I apply or I apply a little bit more pressure on that area, but it's completely fine because you can't notice it once I kind of paint over it. And it's not that noticeable anyway, like not underneath the lights, if that makes sense. And y'all, I know I said this last video, but I want to kind of put emphasis on how much easier it is to do a crack design with a liner brush instead of how I normally use the, um, the dotting tool. It's much, way much easier and like 10 times faster doing or using a liner brush because you just stoop and I say it like, you know, it's way much easier. I love it. So if you're using a dotting tool for crack like I used to, um... 3d or like the bloomin gel it's way much easier using a small liner brush thank me later all right y'all so now i'm going in with me secrets clear acrylic and just um pouring it over top of that crock design and it is still wet i did not cure it in the lamp it is still wet while i'm pouring the acrylic over it and y'all for some reason like in my little head i feel like if i don't pour it twice like if i don't pour it over the cap and then pour the acrylic back on the nail that's on the cap into the jar so like pouring it twice over there i feel like it's not covered all the way i don't know why i feel that way i don't know i just feel like i have to do it twice so yeah anyways i'm going in on the middle finger and i'm doing that you know same crack design but i'm doing a full nail and i don't know where the footage to the beginning part of this nail went but you guys know how you know crack go you just draw the lines in the middle across and then i'm doing them on the sides and between those um, those lines in the middle y'all see how easy this is and i find that my lines come out way straighter and way neater with the liner brush instead of the dotting tool because with the dotting tool like i'm not able to uh, control it as much as the liner brush like if y'all, y'all probably already do this like, duh, girl, duh. But I used to do mine with a dotting tool. And y'all, it used to take me forever. And I used to have to go over and go over and go over it again and again. Because it wasn't like straight to my likings. But yeah, this this um liner brush with doing the crack design is like gold. And I have to, again, give props to Zule because, um or credit props credit to Zule because I saw one of her TikTok videos a long time ago um well a little while ago maybe a few months ago when she was using a liner brush and I'm, I never ever thought to use a liner brush to do 3d crack I don't know why I just never did and yeah it's made my life so much easier so thanks Zule all right so that is how the nails are looking so far and I'm gonna go in on the thumb and do that same outline that I did on the ring fingernail I love doing outline nails on myself. They're like so satisfying. Well, to watch anyway.
All right, y'all, this is how the nails are looking so far with all of like the gel polish part completed. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go in on the pinky nail and do the design that I wanted to do, which was like this half crack design. And I wanted to go ahead and put a chain in the middle of it. And y'all, I grabbed this like little chain from like this ran like a random necklace that I had and don't wear anymore. Um, I'm sure it's like some old random cheap necklace that I used to wear when I was younger. I don't know why y'all, but I keep like my stuff for a long time. Anyway, so yeah, I just grabbed this from like my jewelry box and um, I cut it. And yeah, I'm just putting it, placing it on the nail and I just clipped the tip with some scissors. Oh, and of course I'm using my Zule Blank adhesive to do so. Also, I do have some like um, nail chains, like some chains that I got for nails specifically. Some are down in my nail art drawer that I didn't feel like trying to find. So that's why I grabbed this random necklace. And these scissors right here are super duper sharp. I got them somewhere off of um, AliExpress. They are so sharp. Like, I think that's the only reason why I was able to um, achieve cutting that so easily because they are super duper sharp. Well, it wasn't so easy. You can't, you guys can't see. I did put a lot of pressure on it trying to cut it, but it was easier than it would have been with, um, with another pair of scissors. Anyways, y'all, so let's get into the bling part. All of our favorite parts, right? <laughs> Well, I know Paige probably somewhere in the comments, like, no application is my favorite part. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, so right now I'm just um trying to find this Virgo, this gold Virgo, because I'm going to be doing gold, of course. Um, Well, Virgo charm. And I think I I got those um Zodiac charms from, I had got some from Shein and some from Acrylic Creamery. So I'm a Virgo and duh. So that's why I chose Virgo. And I do have another Virgo set coming, but, but by the time that it's editing up, it's going to be like October. But I don't care. Still going to post it anyway. Um, so yeah, I just placed that that charm on there and I sprayed it with some Neo Secret Activator Spray. And I did, of course, do that using my Zule Blink Adhesive as well. And I want to add some like butterflies. I want to do like a little like cluster type vibe around the Virgo sign or the Virgo charm, whatever. So I'm going to be adding some of these gold butterflies that I got from Amazon. And yeah, you guys can find those gold butterfly um, charms in my Amazon storefront as well. I recommend that if you guys are trying to apply these butterfly charms to the nail, because of the way they are shaped, like they are literally like 3D. So the wings bend upwards and the base of the nail is kind of like curved as you can see so i recommend applying like some um like some thick gel like some ibd gel or like some some kind of cluster gel for those because like you saw they just kept sliding off but i kind of forced them on there with the blink adhesive anyway but um like some kind of ibd gel or cluster gel would be um better sorry y'all i'm kind of you gonna hear me start to try to get or start getting like a little i don't know with my words because it's late <laughs> like i just got off a live with zule and it's pretty late i think it's like 1 30 a.m and i'm kind of tired and if my voice sound a little funny that is why i promise you guys this video on friday so i shall keep my promise and yeah um once zule went live i kind of like stopped editing <laughs> but i still take care of my business anyway so I, I knew I would stay up later to get this video finished for y'all. All right, so as you can see, I'm just adding some random like little stones around the, you know, around the Virgo to make like a little cluster type of vibe. And, um, you know, like some AV crystals and then these blue crystals, the blue like pack of crystals I got from Amazon as well. If you guys want, I can leave that in the Am or in my Amazon storefront for you guys, but you can just search um, like, blue rhinestones or a blue rhinestones mixed pack or something like that and it shall pop up on amazon so yeah i'm just applying a bunch of little rhinestones around this to make it like a cute little cluster
and that is how it's looking super super cute y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all sometimes i get really sad when i have to take off my nails after like i if you guys don't know like every set that i do i pop them off right after so that i can create the next video for you guys so i can like you know keep the content coming and i stopped doing my nails like um i, do I stopped doing like I stopped wearing like regular acrylic sets on my nails like a long time ago like since i started my youtube i stopped doing my nails completely because i knew i wanted to keep the content coming for you guys so that i can grow my channel and so that i can have content coming for you guys so kind of sacrificed myself like i love nails so much y'all like i was the girl known for the nails okay like i could not no one ever really knew what my natural nails looked like because I always had my nails done. Like, even at work, y'all, I used to work at a restaurant. Like, I used to work at Subway. I can just say it. I used to work at Subway, and I used to, like, be making sandwiches with my extra long nails. Like, I'm, I'm talking about, like, my three, two, three XL long nails. Like, I used to do everything with the nails. Like, I was so used to them, I could do literally anything. The only thing I couldn't do was, like, um pick up change off the floor like that was the craziest ever but and before y'all be like and you made sandwiches with extra long nails <laughs> before y'all say that um i wore gloves i know they didn't pop through i made sure they didn't pop through the, the gloves because that's a nasty unprofessional but i keep my nails clean i used to always scrub under my nails y'all know the girls who know and the girls who get it get it if y'all don't y'all don't but where did i say that to say Oh yeah, sometimes I'd be sad when I have to pop off my nails, y'all, because I used to, I am so used to, like, having my nails done, but it is what it is, y'all. I want to keep the content coming for y'all, and I hope and pray that it gets to a point where I don't have to be pushing out, like, you know, well, I want to push out content for y'all, period, like, I like being consistent and all of that, but, um... Hopefully, I can get to a point where I can wear nails again, because y'all, I'd be so sad when I have to pop off my nails, but yeah, hope, um, well, one day I probably will wear, like, all of the nails that I have done before. Like, because, y'all, they be so cute. I don't, like, toss my nails. I put them, like, on a display. For the, for those of you who know, know, like, I put them on a display. You guys, if y'all saw that video, I don't, um, I don't toss them, like, in a trash or, like, put them in some kind of, like, bag or something or somewhere. Yeah, I keep them on display on my wall. And one day I will wear them. If you guys want to see, like, my nail display... Um, comment that in the comment section below and I can definitely like make a video of that because um, it's getting bigger and bigger but yeah y'all. So I definitely just like tried every single bling on here to see what looked right and, and what didn't like what I feel like looked right and what didn't like 50,000 times while I was talking but y'all that's and that's why I, I that's why I said well that's why I said if I did live I would be here all day because I'm super indecisive like I be, as y'all can see, like, trying to see what looks right and what don't look right on the nail. Because I I don't like doing stuff. Like, if I don't like something, I'm going to take it off. Like, if I don't like something, it's going to mess up the whole set for me. Like, for my sets, I have to like every single set. That's why I come, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I do sets, I come with it. Like, I try to, you know, come with it every single set. You know? Because I don't like ugly stuff. <laughs> like, if I do, <laughs> like, if I do, y'all, it's late and I'm really chatting right now. Um... Yeah, I'm going to let y'all finish watching me do this nail right here. Y'all, I kind of sound like a psychopath the way I just, like, stop laughing like that. <laughs> y'all, like I said, it's late and, well, at that moment, I realized that I was, like, just literally talking too much. But, yeah. When I get sleepy, I, like, talk so much and say anything. But, yeah, y'all.
All right, y'all, so this is how that nail is looking right now. It's super cute. I think it's my favorite nail throughout the whole set. The set is pretty much complete. I just have to do my thumb. And with the thumbnail, y'all, I kind of wanted to keep it simple, but it kind of kept going and going and going because I felt like it wasn't complete until I was like complete with it. <laughs> so, yeah. I was gonna keep it like that, like simple like that. That's why you could see me looking at it like that. But then I'm like, I'm gonna add two on the side. And then I'm like, that's not enough. I'm gonna add two more. And I'm like, that's not enough. I'm about to add a little, you know, a teardrop, long teardrop to make it complete. And then I'm like, well, that looks weird in the middle. It's not like, it's like a gap. So I'm like, let me add some more. And then I'm like, let me add some more and add some more. <laughs> and then it, would just, it just kept going, y'all. Um, yeah so but it came out it came out cute i told y'all i get to chat when i'm sleepy it's almost 2 a.m now but i'm gonna let y'all go ahead and finish watching this thumb and shut up and then i'm gonna insert the final results wait i almost forgot i'm gonna add a charm on the thumb and then i'm gonna add the top coat and then i'm gonna turn the final results and because i already top coated the rest of the nails i'm only gonna be top coating the ring fingernail and the um the thumbnail since they are glossy and then i'm gonna move on this is how they came out y'all and i am loving it my favorite color in the world is blue besides black and i absolutely love it this is my favorite world blue it's such a beautiful color comment below which nail is your favorite and again as i said it before earlier if you guys want you know if you want um to leave any q a questions you can leave them below or in the post on my community tab where i ask you guys to ask me some q a questions and i'll be answering the rest of them in the upcoming videos if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each and every single time i post a new video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now